So today we're, oh, one second. Let me just, oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the spot. A little to the left. Good. A little to the right. Oh my gosh. These, these come in handy. Today we're going to talk about the 15 deeper causes of itching that you probably have never heard about before. So the medical name for itching is called pruritus, okay? And the remedy typically is just to scratch the itch, right? And it usually involves some superficial nerve that is within your skin that's being aggravated to some level. You can have lice on your body, scabies, which is a microorganism. You can have hookworms, herpes, an insect bite like bed bugs. You can even have a yeast infection, different places in your body, usually private parts, or you can have poison ivy. Now, I am deadly allergic to poison ivy. And when I get it, it spreads and boy, does it itch like crazy. And I have to resist the temptation to scratch it. I found that going into a hot shower tends to be the only thing that can relieve the itching for three hours, but I can definitely relate to poison ivy. Then you have a tick bite, right? Usually tick bites initially kind of numb the area and you don't know they're there. I think in the last year I had 20 different tick bites that I found on my body because I live in the countryside. And some even had the bullseye and I never got Lyme. So that's good. But sometimes you have to kind of check yourself because you don't know if these ticks are on your body, but sometimes they do leave an itch and you can find out where they are. And you can also itch from having diabetes. Now, why would a diabetic start itching? Because they have problems with circulation, specifically blood flow to nerve endings. So like even in the bottom of your feet, you can have what's called peripheral neuropathy, where the blood flow to the nerves are not happening. And so the nerves start dying off. And so the sensation could be anywhere from an itching to a burning pain to an actual severe pain. You can start losing circulation and the circulation is necessary for the nerves to function correctly. There's another condition called polycythemia where you have too many red blood cells, which can create a lack of circulation in your blood flow, lowered oxygen into your actual skin itself. And that's what's causing the itching. And even a problem with the parathyroid gland. The parathyroid gland is four glands that are around your thyroid and they control calcium. And if the thyroid is working too hard, you could start developing too much calcium in the blood and then too much calcium that deposits in the skin and even create calcification of your skin. And that can affect the nerve endings. So there's been an um, associated relationship between people that had severe itching and then they have their parathyroids removed and the itching goes away. And then you have a problem with the kidney called uremia, where you have this buildup of uh, urea in the skin, and that's creating all sorts of irritation on the nerves because someone has an advanced uh, kidney disease. Then you have the liver, okay? And this is very common, whether you have cirrhosis of the liver or hepatitis. When the liver, which is supposed to make bile salts, can't make the bile salts anymore, then you start developing this thickened sludge that comes down these little ducts into the gallbladder called cholestasis. And you're going to feel like a fullness underneath your right rib cage and maybe even pain that refers to your right shoulder blade. And then you have also a condition where you have dry skin that can create itching, probably because the gallbladder doesn't have enough bile to be able to pull in vitamin A from the foods, or you're not consuming a lot of vitamin A, or it could be also a lack of vitamin D, which can increase inflammation. And so when I was in practice, there's a high correlation between people that have itching and people that have gallbladder issues or liver issues. One would be just irritation of the gallbladder directly. Number two, it can decrease your omega-3 fatty acids because omega-6 and omega-3 compete. The average person has like 20 times more omega-6 to omega-3. The remedy is very simple. You just need to change your diet. And there's a remedy called tut cup. It's a type of bile salt that thins the bile. And it's been found to significantly decrease itching in people with like cirrhosis. So I will put that research down below as well. Now, what's interesting about uh, the relief of scratching an itch is that you're going to stimulate serotonin and dopamine as the relief chemicals. And there's even professional back scratchers that you can go 
get your back scratched and, and pay someone to do that, which is pretty wild because it's very relaxing. But anyway, I wanted to increase your awareness on what's behind pruritus, especially if it's on a chronic nature, and give you a lot more information so you could potentially identify the real reason why you might have itching. Now, since I did mention the gallbladder, if you have not seen my videos on the gallbladder, I put up a really good one right here. You should check it out. 